Hello and welcome to this session. Many of you have requested to see an example of a 64-bit setup in Visual Studio. So in this video, we will learn how to set up your Visual Studio for assembly in 64-bit MASM, as well as writing a sample 64-bit assembly code to add two integers as a practice. Please keep in mind you still need to have C++ added to your Visual Studio prior to starting this project. I put a link below in the description section of this video in case you need to know how to add C++ to your Visual Studio. Okay, let's get started. Once you have your Visual Studio open, let's go ahead and click on Create a New Project. You can go both ways. You can use Empty Project or Console App Project. I'm going to click on Empty Project. And this is the setup that we're going to have. So over here, you can call it whatever you want. Um, project 2 is fine at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Now, over here, uh, what I'm going to do over here, we're going to click. I'm going to click over here uh, under Build Dependencies. I will click on Build Customization, and I will click MASM right over here, followed by OK. At this point, I will click on project again. I will go to properties. And with 64 bit is a bit different. So under linker, under advanced, where the entry point is, I'm going to say main. And I will click OK. All right, and that's it. Our system is ready, and 64 bit is chosen up here. Uh, for 86 or 32 bit, this is where we used to be. Now at 64 bit, we're all okay. Now let's go ahead and add our item in here. It's very important that we put the .asm in here. So let's go ahead and call it um, asm test.asm or magic test or whatever you want to call it. We're going to add. And this is it. That's it. This is the environment that you can now write your code for 64-bit. Now let's go ahead and actually add uh, two numbers, two integer numbers in here and write a code for it so you guys can see how we actually write the code in here without having to include any of the stack model or any of those other information. Okay, now that we have the program, let's go ahead and run it and see if there is any bugs in this program that we wrote. So it's running right now. And of course, we don't see much in here, but it shows that the program was built without any error and it's running. So to run this program and to find out what is actually in the register and the memory, we're going to use breakpoint. So we're going to go ahead and click over here for a breakpoint. Actually, let's go ahead and start it from here where we have the data. And what we're going to be doing in here, we are going to do F. 11 or we're going to step through. Um, so to do a step through, you can go to debug and do step into um, or simply do F11. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do this while the program is running. Now you can see the memory is showing up in here. Um, so let's go ahead and do another F11 in here. So now we're going uh, to add the four to the seven, and we're gonna now move the result into RAX. So you're not gonna be able to see anything in here unless you're gonna point it to the address. So I'm gonna say add signed, and then I'm gonna put sum, which is the variable that we have over here. And by going like this, we're gonna be able to um, start seeing what's going on in memory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more step into, and now we're going to see B in here, which is 11. But um, let's go ahead and change this to, right now it's set at hexadecimal, which B is 11. So let's go ahead and um, click on signed display. And that's where we can see 11. By the way, if you don't have this window, this uh, window over here, you can go to debug, you can go to window, and you're going to be able to see the memory. You can choose memory one, two, three, or four. I have memory one right now. Also for registers, if you want to see what happens in the registers, you can click on register and your register is showing B as well. Also, you can have the watch window, which it's going to show the variables you want to see. So let's go ahead and go to watch. 
and you can do watch window in here and let's say I want to see the value of sum so I'll just click over here and 11 is the result which is over here if you want to see how we do the same thing in 32 bit watch the writing your first assembly program tutorial video I am including the link in the description as well this will conclude this session let me know if you have any questions